They risk their lives and yours. Gangs of motorcycle stunt drivers. It's a frightening feeling getting caught on the road when they show up. Now, News 8 has learned of a rise in serious crashes involving these bikers. Good evening, I'm John McKay. This is the News 8 Update live in HD from Victory Park. I'm Gloria Campos. These types of bikers caused this wreck killing two innocent people in July. Law enforcement says they are virtually powerless to stop the problem, but some authorities may not be investigating the basic clues that could bring justice to victims. Channel 8's David Schechter has this News 8 exclusive. Generally speaking, police do not chase sport bikers. A high-speed pursuit just puts the public in jeopardy. But after a fatal crash, when a crime has been committed, why aren't authorities tracking riders down and putting them in jail? That's what we wanted to know. Terrified is putting it mildly. And then the next one, and then the next cluster, and the next cluster. Many North Texas drivers know the fear of a gang of sport bike riders blazing past you or standing by helpless as hundreds of riders shut down an entire Dallas freeway. It just makes you think that um, you're just a split second away from either killing somebody or being killed. That's what happened to Preston Cass in September. He was on the Dallas North Tollway riding too fast in a group of 10 speeding riders. The lead bike was doing wheelies. Cass rammed into the back of a pickup truck, crashed into a wall, and died at the scene. The other riders fled, failing to render aid. Cass lived with his grandfather, Bill Blight. I, I just wish those kids would slow down because it's going to happen again. The Cass family says it has a good idea who Preston was with that night, those other riders who left the scene. But it's been two months since that wreck, and they say no officer has stopped by or even called to ask. No investigator, no detective ever contacted you? No, sir. You. No, sir. The Texas State Troopers are handling the investigation. Do you want to know, or are you actively trying to figure out who was riding that night? Again, it's, it's public safety. And in this case, the case is still open. Uh, so I don't have any information whether they've found that or not. But it certainly wasn't hard for News 8 to find this. Hours of law-breaking stunts posted online by a club called the Dallas Stunt Riders. Sources say one of the featured riders is 24-year-old Thomas Warren Cowley. He's a convicted felon serving five years probation for evading arrest on his sport bike in 2009. Cowley denied he was with Preston Cass the night he died, and police have not named him or anyone else as a suspect. How serious are you about stopping this if you don't run all the traps? Again, public safety is first and foremost. You know, Department of Public Safety, that's what we're all about. And it's not just bikers killing themselves. They also caused the death of Von Silla Franklin's brother, 36-year-old Jonathan Franklin. It needs to be stopped. It needs to be stopped because innocent people are losing their lives. In July, Jonathan Franklin was driving in a car on I-45. A pack of about 14 sport bike riders driving the wrong way caused a wreck that killed Franklin and his friend Derek Finch. Because there was a lot of motorcycles passing by real fast. The Dallas Sheriff's Office, which is investigating, says the wrong way bikers had circled back on the freeway to check on one of their own riders who'd fallen, Brandon Hollis. How you doing? I'm good. Are you Brandon? Yeah. Hey, I'm David Schechter from Channel 8. And while talking to that rider could be an important part of an investigation into a wreck that killed two people, Brandon Hollis says no one from the sheriff's office has interviewed him. So they never came to ask you who the guys were you were riding with? No. The sheriff's office says Hollis was interviewed, and he claims he did not know who he was riding with. Still, it's an important question when innocent people are dying. Now, the people that don't lost their family have to deal with this. We have to deal with this. And when families are suffering, Bill Blythe is trying to follow his pastor's advice. You'll never get over it, but you'll get through it. I hope he's right. Law enforcement says addressing this threat to public safety is a challenge that will require agencies across North Texas to work together. 
That means both patrols and investigations. Without that effort, bikers will continue to openly break the law, kill themselves and innocent victims. Back to you. We have this story posted at WFAA.com. You can share your thoughts on what you think needs to happen.